YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. All right, so you want to go ahead and map out your USB ports. That's a very wise decision. First thing first, let's go and see how many active ports we're currently utilizing in our system. To do that, we're going to do a search for IO registry. If you don't have IO registry, do a Google search and download it. Now, when you get into IO registry, Explorer, you want to go into the search bar and type in XHCI. When you do that, you'll see all the active USB ports in your system. Nine times out of 10, you'll have 25 active. Now, we want to go from 25 down to only 15. The reason that we're doing that is Apple only allows 15 ports directly plugged into the system. Indirectly, you can have over 100 via USB hubs, but directly, we can only use 15. Now, there's plenty of ways of mapping out your USB ports, but the easiest way to me is to use a program called USB Toolbox. So let's go ahead and get that. All right, so we're gonna get USB Toolbox. Uh, so pull up your web browser. And let me see, two things we're gonna have to download. We're gonna have to download the tool. Links will be in the description. Let me make it bigger so you can see. And from right here, which one is this? So from right here, we're gonna go to the releases. Now they say it's better to use it on Windows, but we're going to do the Mac OS one. So for Mac OS, you gotta use 0.1.1. All right, so we'll click on that. Go ahead and download it. Now we need to download one more thing. Uh, all right, link will be in the description and we need to go ahead and download this as well. We're gonna need both of those. So extract that one, you no longer need that. And we're gonna extract this as well. And in here is going to be the Kex toolbox Kex that we use. All right, so before we get into the process, I just wanna make a quick suggestion. You do not have to do this, but I think it makes everything easier. My suggestion is to open up Google, type in the name of your motherboard, go to the website of your motherboard, and then go into the gallery images section, and then download the image of the ports of the motherboard. Then take that image and print that image out. Now, when you open up USB toolbox, the first thing you should do is plug something into each port so you can identify each port and then write it down on that paper. I think it makes the process easier. Also, please remember, your motherboard should have two USB 2.0 ports on the bottom of it. These USB 2.0 ports are automatically populated by USB toolbox. So keep that in mind when you factor in the 15. Now you can disable it if you want, that's not an issue but you got to keep that in mind when you're figuring out which 15 ports you want to keep. All right, so the three tools that I'm going to be using during this process, one is going to be the SanDisk Sand Cruise Glide. I'm going to use that for the USB 2.0 ports. For the USB 3.0 ports, I'm going to use a SSD plugged into a, SF, a USB 3.0 enclosure, nothing fancy. And for the USB-C port, I'm going to use just the Apple USB-C dongle for the flash drives that I have. Nothing crazy, nothing, nothing much. So we're gonna go ahead and start the process now. First, all right, so let me go ahead and give y'all a real example. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the first two that I do and then from there, you know, it's just gonna be on screen. All right, so you wanna pull up your program right here. And from here, you're going to press D to discover the ports. All right. And there go all the ports. Now, pay attention to XHCI, all these ports right here. Just pay attention to that. XHC3, that's my Titan Ridge. Uh, it's backwards compatible with USB 2.0, USB 3.0. You shouldn't have that. So don't worry about that. Anyway, so the first thing first we're going to concentrate on is 
supports HS08. Um, as you can see, HS08 is now populated. Let me uh, plug this in. It should now populate. There we go. Now we're gonna put it into the one right next to it, which is HS07. It should now populate. There you go. HS07 is now populated. So I also want to make this not only USB 2.0, but also USB 3.0. So I'm going to plug in my USB 3.0 external drive into both ports. The first one should be SS07. SS07 should now populate. There it go right there. Then we're going to plug it into the one next to it, which is SS06. There it go right there. So those are now populated with 2.0 and 3.0. I'm going to just go ahead and do the rest now. You're not going to be able to see the rest, um, but you'll see this on the screen. Uh, so I'm going to do my top one, which is HS10. I want that to be 2.0. Okay, some, something's already in there. Should be already in there. SS010, S, HS10 is something that's already in there. I'm going to do the one next to it, which is HS9. I want that to be 2.0 as well. All right. Now I want uh, the one closest to me to also be 3.0. So I'm going to plug in my external drive in there. That should be HS10, no, SS09. All right, SS09, that's in there. Perfect. 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 And let me see what else I wanted to do. Oh, I also got to do my USB-C port. That's SS01. Just plugged it in, it should be, should now populate. There you go, SS01. All right, so I believe that's all the ports that I wanted to do. Everything else is already plugged in. Uh, let me go ahead and do a count. See, what this did right here was it not only um, populated SS01, but it also populated HS01. I didn't want HS01 to be populated, but we're gonna fix that later. So let me just unplug that. All right, I believe that's all of them that I wanted. So you should be able to hear me way better now. I went ahead and switched my mics. All right, so now that we have all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and press back. Press B, go back. And now what we want to do is press S to select ports and build Kex. All right, so the ports that we have right now, we have 17. Now, HS01 for me was never supposed to be USB 2.0. They just went ahead and did that. Also, HS03 was never supposed to be activated at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle those right here. It says select ports to toggle with comma. So I'm going to toggle those off for me. So one and the other one is three. All right. I toggle those off and now we have 15 of 25 ports. All right. So now I'm ready to go. I have 15 ports, everything that I wanted, USB 2.0 and 3.0. So now all I got to do is press K. All right. So you should not see this right here. This is X XHC3. Now XHC3 is my Titan Ridge. I have it's backwards compatible with USB 2.0 and 3.0. I honestly don't want that to be working. So I'm going to press D to disable. 
because I don't even want I only want that controller to do um, Thunderbolt. So I'm gonna press D. You shouldn't see that though. All right. So what it did was it went ahead and saved it to my folder. And there it is. All right. So there that is. So now what we're going to do is let me exit out of these real quick. We're going to pull up our EFI partition. All right. So however you open up your EFI partition, go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do is open up the config.plist. And from here, what I'm going to do is highlight all of these and I'm going to subtract them. All right, so went ahead and got rid of those. Now I'm gonna go into the Kex and I'm gonna delete these two. XHCI unsupported, I'm gonna delete that one, move it to the trash, USB inject all, we no longer need those. So right here, what I'm gonna put in is that Kex that we just built and also I'm gonna go into this folder and drop this USB toolbox.kex. All right, and what I'm also gonna go here is I'm gonna remove the XHCI port limit quirk. I'm gonna turn that off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and press save. I'm gonna save again, cause I don't trust nothing. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. no, 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 I had to scan. Sorry about that, you gotta scan. Before you exit out, you gotta scan. Scan, and now it has all of these kecks back up in here. You see it don't have the ones that we deleted, just have the ones that's in there. So yeah, so now save again. And I'm gonna save again, cause I don't trust nothing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out, exit out, exit out. Uh, right here, we're gonna hit B, and hit B again. And we're gonna go ahead and quit. All right, now what I'm gonna do is restart the computer and I'm also going to, I don't think you gotta reset NVRAM, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna reset, NV matter of fact, I'm not gonna reset NVRAM. I'm just going ahead and restart. So I'll be right back with y'all. It's restarted. Now what we're gonna do is open up IO registry again. IO registry explorer. Open this up. Type in XHCI. And there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now you're officially mapped. You're mapped out. Fifteen ports. You got your USB 3.0s and you got your USB 2.0s. So once again, this is DeMarco Payne for Geek. And last but not least, may the good news be yours.